First on Fox 2, Fox Files investigations tonight. The first, court records say a suspect accused of felonies in both St. Louis and St. Charles counties is repeatedly violating his ankle monitor. He first made the news during a police pursuit in which he allegedly stole an ambulance. Now, Fox Files investigator Chris Hayes has uncovered court records indicating more possible defiance. Chris? Mandy, alert after alert has been popping up in court records on a suspect with a dramatic history. Police say this ambulance being pursued by officers was being driven by defendant Dwayne Vardaman. It's October 2022, and you're watching from Bomarito Automotive Group Skyfox, a chase that lasted one hour. Our Skyfox crew reported flying speeds up to 100 miles per hour just to keep up. At one point, the ambulance T-boned a car, pushed it out of the way, then backed up into a St. Louis police car before driving off onto Broadway. It was struck with spike strips. It still continued without tires, leaving gouges we could see in the road before it finally stopped near Rathbone Hardware Company. Police say that's Vardaman after being tased into compliance and taken to jail. We've continued tracking the defendant in court, learning that pending trial, he was released this past December 6th and put on an ankle monitor. Since then, court records show eight bond violation reports, each note what's called inclusion zone, meaning a possible violation of house arrest. That's about one violation a week since his release. Wednesday was a court hearing in downtown St. Louis to address it. Vardaman's defense attorney said those ankle monitor violations could be reasonably explained, including some cases he said involved trips to the grocery store. Those GPS ankle monitor violation reports give very specific GPS tracking in which the judge responded. It did appear those violations could be reasonably explained. Vardaman is now scheduled for trial June 24th on four felony counts related to the ambulance pursuit and one felony count of stealing in a different incident involving a stolen 60 inch flat screen TV, cash and a checkbook. In addition, Vardaman also faces felony charges in St. Charles County after allegedly threatening his former girlfriend with a machete in September 2022. The victim told me she just moved out of state over concerns for her safety with a defendant currently free from jail. We will follow up on both court cases and continue tracking potential ankle monitor violations. For the Fox Files, I'm Chris Hayes.